my name is Ezra. I have Perion. Cool cast of new faces over there. We still got some buddies over there. You know, some some West Side players. Yeah. Which guy? Um, Josh. Josh from you know he's from my hometown. Um, I know a couple other guys like Q and I just through basketball really, and um, they actually got a couple new guys. I guess at least one that's from Seattle. I don't really know him too well, but. I mean, he's a local guy, so you know everybody pretty much knows of everybody from Seattle, really. So, yeah. You guys uh, play play it all in the summer against a lot of you guys in open gyms, anything like that? Um, we didn't this summer. Uh, last summer we did a lot, but I guess maybe signals got crossed, or there just wasn't enough time with you know um, their program or ours just to fit it in. But um, in the past we have, just not this summer. Uh, can you take anything from the, that first half against USC and maybe uh, apply it to, to the Wazi game tomorrow? Um, we can um, take some positive and negative things. I mean, uh, we played really well in the first half, even though I mean, we gave them 15 points off turnovers. And so if you factor in that, if we could just limit those down a little bit, we could have went in halftime with a little bit more momentum with maybe a lead um, instead of a tie. So um, just the little things, most more um, – on the turnover side, we can take into consideration to the next game just because we got to focus on the fact that, you know, we're playing another Pac-12 team and we saw how those teams capitalize on turnovers, you know, so just some little things we have to touch up. Uh, what role does their speed and athleticism really play in those turnovers from USC? I mean, like I said, the Pac-12 team, you know, there's a whole bunch of athletes running around there, so um, they got, again, like, you know, a dunk off a turnover, you know, that got their momentum going. Well, Coach told us before, you know, they're going to get some dunks. They're going to, you know, get some steals, get some transition layups, something. They're going to be, you know, up and down. But um, just um, off that, just their momentum just really took them, you know, through the game, through that first half. And then the second half, they really just picked up where they left off, really. So um, that's probably just like the biggest thing we really have to focus on, really, over all of our games so far has been turnovers. So... That's something that was really, you know, hurtful. Were you able to see on film what they were kind of doing to keep you guys from, from dribbling into the paint? Um, we haven't even, we haven't watched our film exactly um, on that game. But during the game, it didn't seem like they were doing too much to keep us from getting to the paint. I mean, I feel like we got a lot of nice looks around the basket, whether it was our guards or our bigs. Um, the biggest thing they did is just they altered some of our shots. That's probably the biggest thing they did in regards to trying to keep us out the paint. Uh, Vic, did you consciously make the decision to kind of be more aggressive and kind of go at right, right at USC, especially from the start? Well, yeah, I try to be aggressive all the time because, you know, that's what our team needs is for us, like me and P, to be aggressive, to, you know, spark plug our team to help us get going. So I'm always trying to be aggressive. How do you slug out, you know, kind of shrug off a, a shooting night like you had at USC? Just keep shooting. I mean, I'm a shooter. It happens when I hit four for five or when I, you know, hit a lot. It's good. So I'm going to just keep shooting. I'm not really worried about, you know, how I shot. I mean, of course, I wanted to shoot better. Of course, you know, I could have shot better. I think I have a lot of great looks. It's just a matter of knocking them down. But as a shooter, you just got to keep shooting. You guys are both a part of a team that went down to Pullman uh, and, and beat them. You know they're going to come back when they get back on here in Cowan. Uh, how do you kind of counter that, that, that energy that you know they're going to come out with? Well, we're just going to have to match it because it is our home court, you know, and we have to defend that with everything we got. And I just think, you know, it is a big rivalry. Like we said, we was a part of that team last year, and, you know, we got the job done there. So I feel like we have a good chance to do it again. How important overall is this rivalry? Uh, it's big, really. I mean, we I've been here, it's my third year, and those other two years we got to play Boise State, which is like really like a team, you know, we want to be here at Idaho. And um, this year we don't get that chance. So this is really like our one chance, you know, beat somebody who's really considered um, a rival. You know, we don't get two opportunities like we did in the past. So um, this is really just our chance to um, go out and um, compete against, especially a really good team, that being a rival. and. Um, try to get our first win in the dome, you know. So, this is a really big game for us. Uh, this was a team a little bigger than the one you guys were, were last year. You guys had a chance to look at uh, Connor Clifford and, uh, and, and Val, big shot blocker for, for the Cougars. Um, I mean, 
I've watched them play. I watched them play guns against Gonzaga and stuff. Um, so I got to see, you know, what they have in store. But we have really good bigs. Um, they got really good patience down there. And I feel like if they, you know, be patient like they were at USC, then um, they're going to be successful down there. You know, get the shot blockers up in the air, you know, draw fouls and stuff. Um, I mean, they're big, but big isn't always better. I mean, I think we have some really good guys that know how to play around, um, you know, shot blockers. So I feel like we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, Deshaun is one of those your guys' talented bigs. Can you talk about his progression kind of game by game so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's gotten... Um, at the beginning, you know, a couple games, he had some foul trouble. He didn't really get a chance to, you know, establish himself, you know, especially he's in a way bigger role than he has been in the past. Um, but when he's in there, he's a really big factor, you know. He's um, patient in the post. He passes really well out of the post. Um, he's a good screener. He, you know, aggressive on rebounds and stuff. So um, I feel like with him being in there, it's going to help us a lot too, um, as long as he can hopefully stay out of foul trouble because we're going to need him through the whole game. And Vic, for you, you and Perry are talented athletic guards. Is it kind of exciting to really test yourself against other talented athletic guards, especially guys like Ike over the last year? Yeah, I think it's a good chance for us to show what we can do and show like how good we really are. Because, I mean, this is a big game in the Pac-12, which would be considered a better conference or whatever. But that doesn't matter. You know, we're going in with a chip on our shoulder and, you know, having that aggressive attitude that we're going to win regardless of who's in front of us or, you know, whatever they're doing. Because I know we both believe in our ability and we believe in our team because, you know, that's all we got, you know. So I think we're going to really be able to do something special. What specifically puts that chip on your shoulder? The, the grind, you know. We work hard. We go to practice. We study film. We do our homework, you know. So it's all going to pay off because you can't cheat the game. So, you know, if we work hard and we do what we're supposed to do, it'll translate over. With such a history between the two programs, you know, sometimes nerves can run a little high before the game. What is something that each of you has done to prepare or will do to prepare uh, mentally for tomorrow's matchup? Uh, I think, you know, we'll prepare like it's every in the game. You know, like I said before, we don't take any opponent lightly or think of them as being that much better than us. You know, because we are a good team and we believe in our ability. So I think that, you know, we'll just take it like a normal game. But of course, there's going to be a little jitter or whatever because it's basketball. That's normal. We're human. But I think that our confidence will be able to, and our teammates will help us overcome whatever type of jitters is there. How are your. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to have Perry on answer the same question. Um, pretty much what Vic said. I mean, we're just going to prepare the way we prepare for every team. I mean, we played a lot of great teams this year, um, whether we won or lost, and we competed with them, um, some really great teams. Um, and so we're just going to, you know, go into it the same way, you know, study the film, see what guys like to do. And um, we're just going to go out there and um, be aggressive, not be afraid of who's on the other side of the ball and just play. Um, what are your nerve levels now that you've kind of played a pack, couple Pac-12 teams in your uh, basketball career compared to... So like now compared to your freshman year when you hadn't played one of these really big, kind of scary teams? I mean, um, I don't really have any nerves at all, really. I mean, I'm confident in my ability and my team. Um, my freshman year, I mean, my first real game, we came out and played Oklahoma. And that game, you know, I'm pretty sure any freshman would be a little nervous about that. Um, but like when we went to go play USC um, this past weekend, I felt like it was just playing, you know, a pickup game with my friends or something. I wasn't nervous, wasn't intimidated or anything. And I think that's just confidence in myself and my team that no matter what, we're going to be there for each other and help each other out. Vic, if you want to get picked up, you can hide on that if you want. <laughs> Coming up on 2.30. Clears, did you have a question? Yeah. So I wanted to get a response from you after what Victor said regarding about the energy of defending the, the court because this is, this is a big rivalry. You kind of added on that since you guys are not playing Boise State this year, this is this game tomorrow is very significant. Do you add on to what Victor said as far as defending the court? Yeah, it's a big game. I mean, those guys only about, you know, 10 minutes away. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to try to bring a lot of fans in. Hopefully we bring a lot in. And, um, just to have a little bit of bragging rights on a couple of guys that you know is probably the biggest thing. And um, just like he said, just trying to defend your home court, especially since 
Um, our first game in there, we got beat by a good Arkansas team, a Little Rock team, but this, um, there's more emotions into it than just those games. So just um, the emotional side and just the pre preparation side is going to be um, a key focus on this game. Anything else? Carry on. I'm good. All right. Hey, thank you guys.